So maybe let's start with the theory, this idea of utility. Good idea. Lay the groundwork. Okay. So in this study's world, utility is basically a way to measure how much you value returns relative to the risk you take on. There's a formula, equation one in the paper, but the core idea is quantifying that trade-off. So it helps understand, like, would you prefer a safe, say, 3% return, or take a gamble on something that might give you 6% but could also give you zero? Exactly. And that leads to this concept they call the certainty equivalent, or sometimes willingness to pay. They use the terms interchangeably. Okay, certainty equivalent. What does that mean exactly? It's the guaranteed return you'd accept that would make you just as happy, just as satisfied as taking the risky bet on the active fund. It's like saying, okay, instead of this uncertain alpha, I'd take this much for sure. Got it. So that's the benchmark for value here. How much certain return is this active fund worth to me? Precisely. And to make it concrete, the study first estimates the risk aversion of a typical investor holding that 60-40 portfolio. Using market data from Jan 2016 to Disney 24, Okay. they calculate this risk aversion level gamma, they call it, comes out around 10.4. That number basically sets the stage, telling us how much extra return this kind of investor needs to feel compensated for taking on more risk. And they show this with indifference curves too, right, in Exhibit 3, like lines showing combinations of risk and return that you're equally happy with. Yeah, exactly. And the certainty equivalent is basically where that curve hits the vertical axis, the return you take with zero risk. Adding a good active fund should theoretically push that whole curve up, give you a higher certainty equivalent. 